All right, so today we're going to be giving this pond a little makeover. So this thing has been up here for close to two years now and you can see it's not looking very nice. So today we're going to be moving this thing and burying it under the ground. I want this to be an in-ground pond now. In the past, I wanted this to be an above ground so you can see we've got it set up on top of some concrete blocks and a large rock right there. Um, and this was nice, but I mean, it, it doesn't look that natural um, in this green garden. So today, I think the spot I'm going to be putting this in will be right over here. Somewhere over here, uh, we've got some big rocks, big boulders. These are like impossible to move. You need like a crane or a, a, something, to a machine to move, lift this up. So I think like right here in this spot, uh, I want this rock to be in as well. This rock is also another one that I can't move. And I just want rocks. Yeah, so I just want big rocks around the pond uh, so that it looks more natural. I'll put some images of like what I kind of want it to look like. It's not gonna look exactly like that, but I just want to kind of replicate it. And the thing that, that I don't like is the blue color. So even if the water becomes clear, even if I do maintenance and keep the water clean, the blue color will kind of look unnatural. I could probably paint it, I could put a pond liner around it, in it, um, but I just don't want to do stuff like that. I, I just kind of want to use it as it is. So hopefully we can get some algae growth. You can see there is algae. I don't mind if the sides become all green, dark green. Uh, that would look really nice and natural. So I'm kind of hoping that would happen over the course of time. And you can see it kind of has happened, but the water level is low, so it's all drying out. But yeah, we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to start digging a hole around here. It's about four foot, just over four foot by three foot, uh, this pond. So yeah, I'm going to start right here. I did think of some other spots. Like we could do it right here too, but then this rock is gigantic and you can kind of see the size. I can't move this rock. There's another giant rock here. And right here would have been a nice spot, but there's just not enough space uh, this way. It's not even four foot long. It could, I don't, I don't even think this is three feet long. So the pond won't fit in here. You can see there are some ar larger rocks here too. So I was thinking like maybe we could put the pond here and have these large rocks around. It, that would look quite nice but also this is a low spot so it kind of slopes upwards over there um, and I kind of want the pond in a higher spot so that if it rains we don't get all the mud and like dirty water coming down into the pond so I think like right there is the best spot for now so I'm gonna start and yeah start digging all right so I've started digging a hole right here it's got to be just over four feet by three feet uh, so kind of a rectangular shape length going this way the long side and I'm trying to save some of the plants and I'm definitely gonna save this in in Japanese we call this the Christmas rose but I'm not sure what the English name is and I've got another one here you can see some nice flowers so I want to save some of the nice ones nice plants and then weeds like this this thing grows all over the place and it's it's not a nice plant to have in the garden it's a herbal plant I think a, a medicinal plant um, but it just takes over and it's already taken over this garden it's growing everywhere so this plant I don't care about but some of the nice ones that flower nicely will keep so that we can plant it around the pond I'm gonna go continue digging this hole it needs to also be about 40 centimeters deep 45 centimeters deep uh, which is about 18 inches I think you can see uh, the goldfish just went back in the, yeah there should be three of them in here so I, I want to make their home look more aesthetically pleasing moving forward so I'm gonna continue digging and I'll see you guys in a little moment Alright, so I'm gonna call it a day right there. Uh, this was pretty, pretty tough. Uh, it's my first time digging a hole for a pond and 
Never thought it'd be this challenging. So, you can see it's we, we got quite deep. It's about 30 centimeters a foot uh, deep right now. I do want to go a little bit deeper, but the deeper we go, the harder it gets. You can see this right here. This is what um, I'm finding. It's this really hard, kind of like a rock. I don't know what it's called. It could be clay. I'm not too sure. Um, but that's really hard to dig past that. And there's a bit of it over here as well. So I'm going to continue tomorrow and hopefully we can try to get the pond in. We won't get everything finished in this video. But I'll try to make this a two-part series and uh, hopefully we'll get this thing done. All right, the next day it is. The hole has been dug. I've just finished working on it a little bit more today. And it might not be perfectly level, but I want to get the pond in here today. And if it's not level, we'll have to fix it up. But the size is there. The, the pond should be able uh, to go in there. So what I've done right now is I've just taken out my three goldfish. They're currently in here. You can kind of see them swimming there. But I'm going to save some of this water. Um, I'm going to fill this thing up a little bit more. And then the rest I'm going to throw out uh, so that we can lift this up and stick it right in there. So yeah, let's go and do that right now. Oh, and one more thing is this plant. I'm so happy it's still alive. You can see this is my yellow uh, lily, lily flower. And I, th I thought it wouldn't be able to survive this winter, but it managed to survive. You can see it's out of the water right now, but we've got a bunch of new little leaves. So hopefully once we get this in the new setup, it'll start um, blooming and yeah, producing lots of leaves. Okay, so the yard is a complete mess right now. You can see the spot where the pond used to be, how it looks. Um, yeah, got some spider nests over there, which I hate spiders, so I'm glad the pond is gone so we don't have any more of those there. But you can see the pond is now over there. And I'm really liking the way this turns out. I haven't mentioned it yet, but this pond is going to be a filterless pond. I want to make it kind of like a natural style pond, no filters. And yeah, I think it should work out all right. I've been researching quite a lot. There's quite a few people who do these kinds of ponds filterless. So I've seen it done before as well. I'll put an image of one up right here. And that thing had more goldfish in. I'm only gonna be keeping the three that I have. I don't plan on adding any more goldfish. I just want these three to be happy in there. And we're also going to add lots of plants to this thing. So first of all, I showed you just now, we've got the lilies. So these will have yellow flowers and they're really, really beautiful. I can't wait for that to bloom. And I've also got a bunch of parrot's feather that I'll try to plant and organize more neatly than it previously was because previously it was just all over the place and that's kind of what parrot's feather does so moving forward i also want to add an amazon sword plant in here so i'll probably get like another uh, ceramic pot and plant an amazon sword and we'll have leaves growing out of the water and then the roots will be underneath so it'll be like a natural filter and, and as for around the pond we're definitely going to make it look better beautify it put more plants and also maybe some large boulders some rocks uh, so that we can kind of hide this blue container look even more because i really don't like this blue look and for the insides i hope we get a lot of algae growth um, i don't want the water to turn as green as it previously was but algae growing on the sides will make it look really really nice and you can kind of see the the difference with having an artificial blue look and then having the natural algae signs i think the, the algae signs look better let me know what you guys think in the comments below also i was thinking of adding a substrate um into this pond but with goldfish if you add sand or gravel they they're known to kind of swallow that and get problems doing that so i think i'm gonna go with bare bottom for now and for the plants we'll just have them in pots and probably put some like large pieces of gravel like large large pebbles on top so nothing the goldfish can swallow i think that'll work better 
Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. I'm, I'm pretty positive that this idea will work because I've seen it been done before. I just have to keep up with maintenance, doing regular water changes, which I think now I'll do for sure because it's also closer to the water source and yeah i'm pretty motivated this year with the garden keeping up with maintenance of this garden so yeah let's see how it goes hopefully there'll be many more updates of this this is just part one part two will be coming out soon of us adding the goldfish in as always if you enjoyed today's video be sure to give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time